Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. In the previous video for this little guy here, this CarPlay Android Auto AI box, I gave you a quick demonstration of a number of the useful features. Today's video, the intent is to show you how you can load APKs or apps manually that may not be on the Google Play Store, such as Disney Plus, as well as answering some of the questions that came up from the first video. So stay tuned. So first I just wanted to talk about connecting the device in the vehicle again. So in my original video, I showed it plugged in up at the front of the console here. Personally, I like to put it in here in the console where it's out of reach and out of sight. And then I can also plug it in in the back because there's ports there for it. So another question I got asked was, is it going to compete if I go and plug in other devices? Will they still charge? Will it try and connect CarPlay? So here we go, it's loading the box like I showed in the first video. But we're going to plug in another phone at the same time and show you what happens. Okay, so this box is plugged in. I'm just gonna set it down there. It's operating as you would expect. I'm gonna take my daughter's phone and I'm going to plug it in through USB. Starting the charge. Now it's going to ask me, do you wanna start Apple CarPlay from sweet coolness iPhone? or Apple CarPlay on the AutoKit T-Box, which is that little guy down there. And we can decide which way we wanna go. So I'm just gonna hit cancel, go back into CarPlay, and it's going to be the Android box or CarPlay Android box, and the phone is still charging. So you basically get to pick one or the other. Really simple, now that answers your question. Okay, let's get into some of the details. So the operating system on here is Android Auto OS, which means right off the bat, it's gonna be restricted to some compatibility when it comes to the apps that are available in the Google Play Store. So when you go to the Google Play Store, even through the browser on here, you're going to find that some apps don't show up, such as Disney Plus, it'll say not compatible with this device. There is a workaround. You need to know how to install APKs manually so I'll give a demonstration specifically for Disney Plus on how to do that. But that brings me to my next point. YouTube is also not gonna be on the Play Store by default and neither is Netflix. These come preloaded on the box, but as you can see, I have Disney Plus on here. I have some other apps. Uh, Prime is compatible, TikTok's on there. So I'm gonna demonstrate first how to install Disney Plus and then I'll show you some of the other apps and features, including screen mirroring. All right, let's install Disney Plus. I don't want you to get too caught up on all the details because everything changes over time, but you could even just Google it. So you could say, um, you know, APK Mirror Disney Plus, because this is the website we're going to go to. So APK, APK Mirror.com Disney Plus. Okay, so all we wanna do is download this app essentially separately. You can see it's given us all the info here. We don't want the Android TV version. We want a mobile version. So I'm just gonna download the latest one. When, by the time you look at this, they might have different ones. That's why I don't wanna get too hung up on those details. And then we will download. And I'm gonna pick for Android 5.0, no DPI. Yes, there's a little bit of clicking here and we are going to download the file. So let's go. Okay, so next you wanna to go to the Play Store and you want to download APK Mirror. Okay, so you wanna download this app right here. I already have it installed. So we're just gonna open it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to browse your files, look in your download folder. I've already been in here, so it went there automatically, but you might have to, you know, go through the tree and get there. Now I downloaded a couple of versions to test this out, um, but it's this one right here that we had most recently downloaded. That's the one we want to use. You click on that 
and then you will install the package down here. I've already done it, so I'm not going to reinstall it again, but I'm gonna get us back to our home screen and I'm gonna show you Disney Plus working in all its glory for the naysayers out there. So there's Disney Plus loading up. Mom and dad are watching. Don't look at my secret, secret code. And here we go, we have Disney Plus. I've also pre-downloaded some media, saved it on the external SD card, micro SD. But let's see, that dot will disappear. That's a shortcut button. Play this there you go pretty easy i hope that helps a little bit so let's look at a couple more uh, app demonstrations okay i'm just going to show you the functionality of a few more apps in case you're wondering so let's go to vlc that one's available for android auto on the google play store i put some of my kids uh old timey favorite shows on here I can fast forward and rewind with the knob. Uh, you know, something small like a carrot. Good functionality. Like a carrot. Pause. So putting the check mark there pauses. Of course, you have all the touch screen options. We can fill it to the screen. Hit play. Old reliable. Oh, Our shortcuts, reliable. remember you can oh. move this wherever you want. Move your shortcut wherever you want so it's out of the way. Maybe you want it over here. And I would use back, get out of there. So very simple, preload some media onto your micro SD card. Let's have a look at Prime Video. This is available on the Google Play Store currently as well, fully compatible. As you can see, fully functional. Pick a show, watch the trailer. again. This doesn't skip ahead, but it lets me scroll through my options. I doubt I could go back on an all fast food diet, so, but something tells me. Simple, simple. Let's look at another app here. Let's look at TikTok. Where's Jessica going? Oh, he's trying to dodge David. He still has him three bucks and David just got here. Because he still owes me like three bucks. I had a lot of things to do today, but you know what I do instead? I have a great stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. Everybody down in Whoville like Christmas a lot. Oh my God, this is so good. So there's your TikTok, fully functional. I can hit back and it'll keep going. If I hit next and back on here, nothing happens. But it is neat, this back button lets you go back. If you hit it twice in a row, it takes me out of the app. So air screen is about screen mirroring. So let me talk about screen mirroring really quick. Screen mirroring is going to be app dependent for its functionality. If you have an Android phone, it's going to be probably a little bit easier to achieve. If you go to the app store with your iPhone, you will be able to find a number, dozens probably of various air screening or casting apps. I'll demonstrate just one and how it works with my daughter's phone is helping me record this video. Okay, so let's talk about this Air Screen app. This is just an example of one way that you can screen mirror with an iPhone. So what this is going to do is share a local network. So whether it be your Wi-Fi or whether it be maybe the phone's hotspot, which is gonna be the demonstration here. So as you can see, 
this uh, app is connecting to my daughter's phone and I'll show you the rest. Okay, so with my daughter's hotspot, we're able to connect the Android box. So now they will talk. So we, we're not using Wi-Fi, we're just using the hotspot on the phone. And as you can see, she is screen mirroring. So for those of you that weren't sure if an iPhone could do it, it absolutely can. So let's say you're playing around and you have the unfortunate event where you mess everything up, it's glitchy, something's not working quite right. Well, the good news is just go to settings and then after settings, go to system. And after system, go to advanced and go to reset. And you can do a factory reset right here or some of the other options. And this will restore the box to the way that it was shipped to you. And uh, the preloaded applications will already be on there like Netflix and YouTube, which are important to have. So you might be asking yourself, what about updating the operating system? Well, it's not really designed for the end user to do that. And I think that's okay. My recommendation, just get all the apps that you want. Like my demonstration today, maybe with Disney Plus as an example, get them working the way that you want, just enjoy them and they'll probably release new versions of this box with newer versions of Android as they come out. But for now, I think it works just as intended. So I was reading the comments in the first video and I think I've answered a number of the questions right now. There are two more that I'll try to address. I don't have a dozen vehicles that I can test this on, but my assumption is when you plug in the box and it recognizes the environment that it's connecting to, it's going to be a default four by three or you know rectangular square shape. It's not going to stretch out and line up all your icons with an ultra wide display, that type of thing. I don't think it's going to do that. I could be wrong. I just haven't tested it. Maybe one of you have, and you can put it in the comments. I get it, three, $400 for a device like this may not be worth it. For me, I don't think it's so bad because I can use it in this truck. I can use it in my wife's Escalade. She's getting a different vehicle that we're upgrading to. That'll be in a future video. I'll be able to use it in that. I can use it in vehicles that we rent often when we travel. I travel for work. They're Android Auto or CarPlay compatible. So this device is going to see a lot of different vehicles. And to me, that's a good return on investment right there. But anyway, if you like today's video, if you like these kind of things, please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and we'll talk to you next time.